Hey guys, uh, so today we are going to see how we can do some initial setup and initial uh, kind of customization to our application. Okay, this is completely uh, this is a completely blank scratch application, and we are going to do some you know some sort of setup and things kind of. I mean, uh, we are just going to do some logo setup and everything. So I'm going to go to this application and going to run this application. Uh, so when we run the application, as as you can see, we have created an application which is having only one page, a home page, and one navigation menu over here. So uh, to start with, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this breadcrumb because you know, uh, the names are coming twice, which is which is not making any sense. So I'm going to delete this uh, breadcrumb first from home page, and uh, you know, here we are going to learn application development with a uh, real time project development actually so how we develop the project in app in, in real uh, industry the same way we are going to you know develop the things and we are going to learn the components and everything so uh, we will uh, take care of all the beautification and ui ui part also we are not going to create you know messy stuff uh, we'll we'll just try to create everything very clean yeah so um, um, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to explain you about the developer console. Uh, here you can see when when you open a, a Oracle Apex workspace as a developer from here, you get this console, uh, the black window over here, something like this. This you can arrange by yourself. Uh, I mean, uh, as per your choice. So let's say if I click on this range button, you can see we have an option called display position. So Either you can keep it on bottom, uh, left, top, right, anywhere. Yeah, so if I keep it on top, you'll get it over here, something like this. And if I keep it uh, left, you'll get over here, something like this, right? So you can see when I click outside in the screen, it gets, uh, you know, it gets disappear. And when I hover on it, it gets appear. How I did it, when you click on it, you can see there is a but there is a checklist called auto hide. I just enabled it, and if I disable it, it will be static over here itself. If it will not get disappear now, but if I want to get it disappeared, I'll just have to check it. I'll just select the auto hide as yes, and now it will get disappear. So I normally like it in the bottom itself, so I'm just going to keep it in the bottom actually. Okay. So this is we call it as a developer console. We have uh, uh, we have these many options over here. If you click on this uh, app one nine two triple one, if you click on it, you'll directly go to the back end of the application, where you can see how many pages are there and some you know other components of the page. Uh, if you click on page one, so currently we are in page number one. That is where we can see the page one edit um, button. When you click on it, you will uh, go back to the edit uh, editable mode of page one. Yeah, here you can create your page components like regions, uh, reports, charts, dashboards, buttons, items, all those things. Uh, if you click on the session, here you get two options, view session state, session override. So when you click on view session state, if you have done any, you know, you have created items or you are just trying to get some value in your session, those things can be visible over here. We have multiple view options, page items, application items, session state, collections, background executions, all these things you can see, you will be able to see. So once, when we will start, you know, getting into the detailed stuff, you will understand more about this thing. But yeah, for now, I, I just wanted to show you that this is what you can see uh the session stuff here you can see the session value this is nothing but your session id the user who has logged into this application and the workspace id this is nothing but your workspace id okay now let me just close it uh there is there is another option as session override if you click on it uh you'll get something like this so here what we used to do you can set your time zone let's say by default, you know, Apex is having a UTC time zone, right? But if you want to set it to your uh, regional time zone, you can do it. From here, you can select the the time zone and you just have to click it on, make it on. Yeah. 
and doc document directions by default we get from left to right if you want to make it right to left you can do it from here default language is english if you want to you know apply some other language you can you know you can try translation we have an option to translate this entire application we will learn it later but yes all these things are possible here you have some file path and all those things javascript url css url so all these things can be customized the station can be overridden by giving these uh, options okay now if you go to debug here you have two options view debug and enable debug by default you know default debug is always on you don't have to enable it if you want to full trace uh, you can just enable it from here but the default debug will always be on so, and that default debug can be seen from here if you click on it uh, whatever transaction you are doing you get if you are getting in any error in the transaction you'll get the you know get the message over here in the debug and you will be able to get into the debug part and you'll be able to solve the problem so all these things you'll uh, you'll get if you get any you know let's say you have written on uh, on load process when page is getting loaded a process is running and in that process you are getting some error that error can be found over here so this is just uh, to help us to retrieve the you know error and everything don't worry if you are not able to understand don't worry about any of these things we will again we will study about these things when when we will start writing the actual code okay now here we have an uh, an option as quick edit quick edit is nothing but let's say you have created uh, multiple regions over here and you want to edit one particular region in that case what you can do you just click on quick edit and hover on that particular region okay and when you click on that region in the back end you will directly go to that particular region itself okay again don't worry i'll show you when we will have multiple regions created in the page uh, then we have another option is customize if you click on this customize you get these three options theme roller edit logo edit app icon theme roller is nothing but when you go go to theme roller uh you can see the select select uh, theme the default theme we have is vita uh, which is nothing but this blue colored and black colored uh, theme if you want you can you know uh, change your theme let's say if i select vita dark you'll get something like this if you select vita red you get something like this if you select vita slate you get something like this so whatever is your favorite you can try uh, you can just apply that theme and you can start developing the application there is a there is another theme as redwood light if you select this one you get uh, let me just select the redwood light and make it and save it and refresh this page so when you select redwood light you get something like this this is default A, uh, apex or oracle you know native uh, theme so if you want oracle native theme you can try this redwood uh, light okay uh, we will keep this theme only to make things standard so i'm just going to keep these things only okay so that's about theme roller yeah here one more thing in theme roller you know you if you want you can customize some of the some of the options are there to customize your uh, theme okay here in redwood theme we have less uh, number of options but if you switch to let's say vita you'll get a lot of options global color then containers the navigation menu you know the selected slate should, should look like uh, in which color icon of the selected slate and all those things so this navigation part then region how the region you want to in which color you want the region to be so th those things can be customized can be customized from here what you have to do just let's say if you want to choose you know global color just click on this color and you a color palette will get opened select color as per your choice let's say if i select this one that color will get will get applied in the you know in the theme so you can try by yourself by doing all these things that's about the theme roller uh, theme uh, roller part uh, now we have an option called edit logo okay in edit logo uh, by default you can see we have this logo written over here correct the text if you want text with icon just uh, or if you want only icon only image just select image and uh, drop an image over here 
if you have any image in your local database or local uh, folder just uh, you know drag and drop or choose a file from here and set okay if you want image with text you can again you can you know do this thing you'll get an image and you get the writing also if you want custom means if you want to write your css and html to get that logo and everything you can you can do that also for now what i'm going to do i'm going to take this one image and text text is uh, fine i'm going to uh, select an image just give me a second i will just select an uh, image and uh, let's say if i select this one which is one of my old picture and just save it so you can see on the left side you get this you know uh, image right so I'll, I'll just save it it got saved let me close it and you can see we have an image and uh, the application name of the application so this is how you can set your logo right edit app icon app icon is nothing but uh, if you go to this app icon okay so before going to this place i will show you let me right click and open it in another window here you can see we have this application code with sort of where uh, the app icon is this one okay we want to change this app icon and this app icon you know comes when you log into the application also in login page also you get this icon so if you want to change this icon we call it as uh, yeah if you want to change this icon uh what you can do click on customize edit app icon and here you have to uh, you know choose that app icon so i'm going to choose the same one what i have uh sorry uh upload new icon okay so you just have to drag and drop over here you get get the app icon click on save and your app icon will, will get changed so as soon as your app icon will get changed you can see this logo will also get changed here also you'll get the app icon logo so your entire favicon and, and everything got, got changed now if you'll come to this place and you'll try to refresh this page you find that you got a new icon over here and along with this now let's say if i log out and log in here also you can see you got a new icon so this is very uh, you know interesting and very good if you want if you are creating any any of the application you just try doing all these things first before starting to the application before start developing components of the application okay so it it makes your uh, application uh, better in in terms of look wise yeah so this is our application ready fine so this is kind of initial setup i wanted to do uh, we'll come up uh, in another tutorial we will start working on the page components that's for this one i hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, let me know if you have any feedback or any suggestion thanks for watching thank you bye